This is One on One. Yeah, she is good, singing for the Devils. That is Arlette, singer, songwriter. She sings the national anthem for the New Jersey Devils, and every time she sings, they win. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start that, Steve. I'm just saying, <laughs> they should. They certainly should. Yeah, how long have you been doing that? I've been doing that for quite some time. I would say, God, it's going on 18 years, maybe? Really? 17, 18, maybe more, but we'll just stop at that. By the way, I've known Arlette for a long time. We, yes. um, I wish we didn't do what we wind up doing yeah. every year after September 11th, but we do it um, at the Eagle Rock Reservation. Yes, Nassau we County. see each other once a year at um, the 9-11 Memorial there, which yeah. is a beautiful ceremony, and, you know, people just get together to just be together and remember and, you know, celebrate life. And yeah. you've written a beautiful song that you sing every year? I do. I and sing it one September morning. I, I wrote that song the week after um, the events of 9-11, just, you know, there was so much emotion and so much, um, so much going on that I just had to mm. pour it out, you know, so. Yeah, but I'll tell you, what, <clears throat> tell you what, I was fascinated by the story as to how you got the New Jersey Devils gig. And it Isn't has to do story? with our mutual friend, Lou Lamorello. Yes, yes. Who is the, the GM, right? Yes. Lou. So Lou Lamorello is a fascinating guy, yes. great businessman. Yes. And he hears you where? I was singing together with my husband at a restaurant in um, Manhattan in 2nd Avenue. And um, it was summertime and the windows, the doors were open and we were just singing there by the window. And, you know, Lou passed by with some friends and he had just had dinner further up the street. Yes. And they were just walking by and then they stopped in to have a drink and to listen to the music. And then, you know, every so often we would see him and he would come in and, and then one day he just um, approaches us and he says, you know, I'm involved with this team. I'm involved Very, with this team. Really humble, like just, you know, throwing it there. Like, oh, you, you know, and um, yeah, and if you would like to come to sing the, um, the anthem one day at, at one of the games and I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, to my husband and I were like, yeah, let's do it. You know, you it was great. You should tell everyone your husband. Yes. He's a musician. Yes, very talented. he is. And uh, we tell uh, everyone who he is. That's Luigi Scapino. That's my husband. Luigi Scapino. Oh, you <laughs> married an Irish guy. I did. <laughs> I did. Steve Adubato. <laughs> By the way, go ahead. So you, you, you're there with Luigi. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I was there with Luigi, and then we went. We went. He, you know, we went to the game, and then I figured out. I saw, understood yes, <laughs> yes. who Lou Lamorello really was, and you know, he wasn't just involved with the team. He was the guy. <laughs> he was the man. And um, yeah. yeah. And then we became really good friends, and my husband and him hit it off so well. And um, and that that was yeah. it. And I started to sing in a few of the games, and the response from the crowd was really good. It's and been it was great. just a fun. And gig. where and where did you get your New Jersey accent? My New Jersey accent <laughs> I got from Trinidad. <laughs> Trinidad, um, born and raised, and yeah. I moved here. I would say. A little over 20 years ago. Music in your life from day one? Yes. Always, always singing in the house. I grew up singing in the church. That's usually mm. how it, it gets started, right? And, um, and yeah, and, and here I am. Sort of an unexpected um, track for me because I really came to America to study. I came, I, I have my degree in chemistry. It's nuts. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm a chemist. But, um, and I then know. I just, yeah, but then to, to make ends meet, you know, I started to do some singing. And, um, you met and your husband. I met Luigi. I met 20 Luigi. 20-ish years? Yes. Yeah. We've been married now 18 years, 17 but years. But musically, right away, you connect. Yes. Yes. He was looking for a singer to work with. He had just gotten here from the mother country. Yes. <laughs> and, um, Italia. Yeah, Italia. And, uh, and yeah, and he was looking for someone to work with, and a mutual friend um, introduced us. And um, that was it. the rest is history. But here's the other thing. This newest project. Yes. Italian Music Project. First of all, I love the name. Thank you. Tell everyone what it is. Thank you. Well, that's that's one of the things that I'm doing on my website, singarletsing.com. By the way, you said it. There, oh, it, is. there everyone, it is. What happens when they go on that site? Well, they see all the different um, things that I am interested in. <laughs> I'm interested in so many different things. Of course, there's that Italian side as well because, I mean, I've been married to Luigi for all these years and we spent a lot of time there. I speak the language. I got my degree in Italian as well. And I'm just fascinated with the Italian music 
Um, it's it's just a just a beautiful country, and you know, the music is great. And but that's one. That's sort of like a side project. Um, another thing there is my original music, which um, I just had that song released. Um, uh, called Save Me. It's an original yes. song that I wrote, and then <clears throat> just just you know. I am a singer, and I do. This is what I do. I do the lounge singing and just covering songs and doing all. You call so, it lounge singing. Yeah, is that a? Why is do you that, call it that? Um, I don't know, Steve. It just came out. I have to think about why because it's in but lounges. You, 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 that's that's a place, but they're not just in lounges. But yes, but but your market, the yes. market for our left. The mar well, the market for Arlette up to, mm. let's say, this, this time here before the original project um, has been that. Parties, weddings, lounges, you know, and, and doing this. And word of mouth mostly? Word of mouth, Hey, yes. I heard Arlette. She's yes. fabulous. Let's get yes. her. Yes, yes. That's it? Yeah, that kind of works the best. It really, really does. The really? word of mouth. Like Lou Lamarello walking on the street, 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. Yes. Here's, my God, she's fabulous. Got to get her. Yeah. So you can yeah. have the greatest PR marketing team. Boom, I hear yeah. her. She's great. Word Gotta of get mouth. It. Word of mouth is is has been it for for us, and um and then of course the New Jersey Devils Forum that has been so, great. So people hearing you, yes, they know who you are, but also you have the Devils jersey that says our lead on the back, which yes. only you have. Yes, yes. Has that impacted your career? Um, the Devils, I mean, familiarity, yes, familiarity. I mean, so far in terms of just um the the gigs and the jobs, and I wouldn't say that that has changed that much, but definitely familiarity, definitely recognizability. recognizability. That's the word I was looking for. Recognizability. And um, and at this point too, you know, I mean and the New Jersey Devils fans are so great. They show me so much love, so much right. support. They've been really great even with um this new song that has been released and the video that you could see on my website as well. And um so so in that respect. And then this coming season we're gonna be doing a whole lot more fun stuff. So that's I look forward to it. But you know what's so fascinating to me, I mean I remember the first time I heard you sing I thought to myself, and, and I've often thought this with incredibly talented artists, that you are forced. And it's just, listen, I'm not saying you complain about it. This is the way it is. The way it is. You are forced to be good at business. You are yes. absolutely forced. And I noticed this when we had a conversation offline a couple, about a month or so ago, yes. you and I were talking. And I realized, Arlette and Luigi have to be good at business. Yes. They can want to be artists. They, they're songwriters, she's a singer. They have to be good at marketing, branding, business, Absolutely. bottom line, PR. You have Absolutely. no choice. Absolutely, and it's, it's difficult for an artist who wants to focus <coughs> on their creativity to have to you know, focus on the business side. Sometimes it's just, it, you just can't. Sometimes you just don't know how, you know what I mean? Yes. So you're not used you aren't to trained it. in this. You're not trained in it. You just want to sing, man, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but you can't. Yeah, you, you don't can't. have that luxury. You can't, you can't, unless you have, and even if you have great people behind you, uh, you still have to be sharp, you still have to be you know, on it as um That's why you got the website. And by yes. the way, tell everyone again they should go on the website. What is it again? Sing our let's sing dot com. Sing our let sing dot com. Everything they need to know about our let yes, is there. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of great fun stuff. Interesting, I think. Well, listen, I am so glad that uh, we asked you to come on and you. you shared just a little bit of the Arlette story. Because the rest of it you're gonna have to find out by going on to sing our let sing dot com. Yes. You are good. Thank you. You're good, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just fun having you on. You have an open invitation, okay? Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, my friend. I'll see you soon. It was great. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by activists in cooperation with the American Medicine Chest Challenge, MagnaCare, New Jersey Sharing Network, the law firm of Gibbons PC, Community Education Centers, PSE&G, Sun National Bank. Promotional support provided by The Record, North Jersey's trusted source, and NorthJersey.com, and by New Jersey Monthly, the magazine of the Garden State, available at newsstands. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York New Jersey area. Play ball! Imagine you're enjoying your child's baseball game. As hard as it is to believe, one of the nine children on the field may be abusing prescription drugs and getting them right out of your family's medicine chest. Join the American Medicine Chest Challenge by taking inventory and securing your medicine, safely disposing of your unwanted and expired medicine, and finally, talk to your kids. Visit AmericanMedicineChest.com to find out how.